Hello and welcome to the Vector Garden YouTube channel. My name is Monika and in this video I'm going to talk about the tiniest buttons in the Recolor Artwork dialog, which are also the most important ones. So let's get started. I want to recolor this toucan and to do that I'm going to select it and then go to the Recolor Artwork dialog box. This can be easily accessed by a button in the control panel, but the control panel is not there, so I'm going to first pull it up. I'm going to Window, Control, and there we have the button. It's already tiny, so let's get onto it. And then we have the first dialog box, which is more about changing color intuitively, but we want the precise option, so I'm going to Advanced. And now we have all the options to control the color. I want to reduce the color of this, so what I could do is get into this menu and just select the number of colors I want to have. But in this case I've already prepared two colors, two swatches in a swatches group. And I can also just click on it and then it gets applied. But what you see here the group has only two swatches and there we have three colors and it's it's actually some more because we have all these tints in it. But what we are seeing is that black doesn't go away. Now this is something that is an option that you have to set and the options are in a very tiny button which is this one here and the first important option that we have in this dialog. You should set up this first thing you do when opening the dialog box because in there you set if you want to preserve white and black and grays. White and black is always checked by default. So if you want to change black as well you have to uncheck it here. But it's okay, I don't want to change it. You also see this reflected in these arrows which show what current color is changed into which new color. So this is in here. Now what has been applied here automatically can be inspected if we get into edit. And there you see it, we have these two colors. But there are all these tints and those reflect a contrast that has been in the original image. And there we had all these different colors and Illustrator tries to at least keep that contrast and keep it active in these two colors. Now how does it achieve that? And to check that out I'm just going to OK and then we inspect this. This is a live paint group so in order to inspect it I have to use the live paint selection tool which is in the advanced tool panel. So let's first go to the advanced tool panel in window toolbars advanced. So there we have it and there is the live paint selection tool and I'm just going to select this one and then let's go into the color panel and there you see it it's a tint. So we have the swatches in here and there you see these two are global swatches and then Illustrator makes a tint from that in order to achieve that contrast. So let's get back into this one and I'm also going to revert what we did already. So let's revert it and go into Recolor Artwork again and into the advanced options. So I'm going to again assign this color group and let's assume that we want to have spot colors and maybe we want these to be just Pantone colors. You can do that in the next tiny option which is this one down here. There you have a selection of color libraries and there you can go into the color books and select a Pantone library from that and then all the resulting colors will be Pantone colors and because those are spot colors there will also be 
tints from it. So you will just have those two Pantone colors and of course black. I'm not going to do that because the next thing I want to do is control how we could get rid of the tints. So let's suppose we want all the resulting colors to be exactly the same, no tints. So then you have to get into the tiniest option in this dialog box, which is to the right of this new color. There we have the tiny arrow. And when you click on that, what you see is how Illustrator controls those tints. And you can set that to exact. And then there won't be any tints anymore. And when I click that off, you see that reflected in the preview. So let's open that again. There's also this tiny option of apply to all and then it gets applied to all, but you can have them differently. So you can say, no, you don't want to apply them to all. And you can set this one to preserve the tints and the other one to be exact. Now there's also another option, which is preserve spot colors and that option makes the tints to be in the result. So you can turn that off and then you get these two as well. And when you turn on these, like let's say we have tints and shades and then other colors get introduced in this and let's check out the result. So like this, and then we can get to the live pen selection tool again and select this color. And there you see we have some black in the result to get some shading into this. And let's open the dialog box again to take another look at the options. So I'm going to select it and get into the recolor artwork again. But let's go to the advanced options. What we're seeing here is not the original state of that artwork. So we can't use this to go back. You see, it looks differently in here. Those shaded colors are now their own rows. So the recolor artwork is not a live functionality, even with the live paint group. So let's just take a look at these again. I'm going to open them. If you select the option hue shift, you will also see some color shifts in it. So these are the tiniest option in recolor artwork, which are also the most important ones and very interesting. If you like the video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. See you next time.